after having created and route identities to station S1, we need to define the details of each station. The instruction station allows us to specify each station. The station block represents a point in the model which entities are transferred to. You find this instruction in the blocks library. Drag and drag and drop this block in the model. Open it. The interface is asking to link the block to an element already defined in stations. For simple stations, just specify the field beginning station ID. For more complex modeling, you may need to specify also the ending station ID. We specify S1 from the list. Confirm. The first component in the first station is the queue in front of the turning machine. We drag and drop the instruction queue in the model. Open it. And select the queue turning from the list. The capacity is infinity and we do not specify anything in this field. Confirm with OK. Remind that the instruction queue was introduced in class 1. The second element in the station is the machine. Therefore, entities must check the availability of the resource turning. We do this by using the instruction C's, which was introduced in class 1. Open it. Open it. And select the resource turning. Confirm with OK. When the part enters the turning machine, the process can start. We model the process operation with the block delay. This instruction was introduced in the first class. The difference in this case is that the turning process depends on the part type. For part type A is exponential with mean 1.5 minutes. For part type B is exponential with mean 2.6 minutes. For this reason, we add two delay blocks into the model. The top one is for part type A, the bottom one for part type B. We use the block branch to distinguish between entities of type A and entities of type B. Drag and drop the instruction branch from the blocks library. This instruction was introduced in the first class. Open it. Select one as maximum number of branches. Then, click add for adding a branch condition. The condition is defined on the type name of entities. If entity.type is equal to type A, then entities take the first branch as output. The second condition is simply an else. Thus, Part B entities will take the second branch as output. Confirm. And connect branch with the other blocks. In general, it is recommended to separate the model logic from the data used in the experiment. Thus, also for the processing times we define some expressions. For part type A, the name of the expression is TS1A. The expression is expo of 1.5. For part For part type B, the name of the expression is TS1B. The expression is expo of 2.6. After confirming the new expressions, we specify the delay time for the two blocks. The duration is TS1A for the first delay, and TS1B for the second delay. After the service, the turning resource is released. This is valid for both part types. Therefore, we add a block release and connect it with both the delays. The block release was explained in class 1. Open release. The resource to release is turning.
After the release, the entities must be routed to the milling station. To do this, we add a root block in the model. Open the new added block. The duration of the routing is 30 seconds, or 0.5 minutes. The destination is S2.